Hi everyone, I'm Cinderay9, and welcome back to Let's Play Jade Cocoon. Back in the Beetle Forest, with our new minions that we merged together, let's test them out. Now, let's, let's see, fire, so let's summon Flame Wasp. And try fire attack. Nice. And that does take mana. Okay. Good to know. Stop. Oh, one H. Of course. I have one HP left. There we go. Alright, pretty good. Did not see that that took, uh, mana. Did it take mana for a patron when he was doing his attack as well? If so, I, I didn't notice that. Nevertheless, we'll continue on. At least no minions yet. Yep, figured you'd be here. <laughs> Been here every time. Okay. Of course, we'll summon what's strong against fire. Now I'm curious. Horn water attack. Yep, okay. It does take mana. That's interesting, so you will want to, between the attack and the spell, I bet you kind of want to play to your strength, so if the Shav Licker, that's good, so if the monster has a higher, wait a minute, it got mana back too, oh hey, you got mana, oh, interesting, you get mana back per fight? That would be neat. Uh, between the attack and the magic, which are both water, you'll want to play to your strength, so I bet the what the horn, like these attacks, horn, fang, claw, tail, foot, go off of attack power, and the magic, of course, goes off magic attack power. So play to your strengths. Again, this is all guessing. <laughs> that sounds pretty good to me. Um, oh, jeez. Can't remember which way we went. Let's go this way. The pots of meal. Now, 23. This flame wasp got 13. Mana back, or not 13, got 10 mana back. It is ready to, ready to go again. So, water attack. Bye. Level up, level four, good. Uh, plus 15 HP, plus three mana, plus one to everything but magic defense. Not bad. Okay, let's... Ah, yes, the turtle thingy. Or, not sure what that is, actually. And then we had the poison snakes. Sco, uh, sco woot, I believe. Oh, hey, there's a key. Maybe we should take it. Uh, there's two. Of course there are. Um, you're both weak to fire, though, since you're air. So, come out, uh, flame wasp. 
and we can test out uh, Agnes, uh, which is a fire attack against all enemies. Let's see how much mana it'll take. Fifteen. That's what I. That's what I expected. Oh, I was hoping for more than that, though. Can't cast it again. We can fire attack one of them. That'll get rid of one. Okay, attack. Then one more attack. Good. Yeah, it was at two mana and then at eight. So that's good. I like that, that they regain mana. And it looks like maybe HP. We'll have to see. Uh, Flame Wasp. Plus nine HP, plus three mana. Plus one attack, defense, magic attack, and magic defense. So, even though he has high magic attack, it, the all spell didn't do a lot of damage, even though they were weak against it. Now, I'm going to assume that is, is because you get that power of hitting all enemies. Typically, when you when you hit all enemies with spells, the damage is, is weakened. That's the, the trade-off. Uh, key. Skeleton key picked up. Okay. I'm sure we'll be using that. <laughs> okay, because I want to test this out. You're at 34 of 36, uh, 34 of 46 HP, excuse me, and 11 mana. Okay. Let's. You're not strong nor weak to him, so that's okay. And uh, attack. Oh, nice. I'm going to assume that's a critical hit with the flash like that. Again. Oh, you both got to go. Well, we're going to stop that right now. And let's attack this one. Eight. Yeah, let's get rid of you. Kind of want to work on the minions. This run through the forest and get them some, uh, some EXP. Uh, yeah, 45 out of 46 and 18 minutes. So that's good. While when they don't fight, they get to rest and recover uh, some HP and mana. That's very good because I was going to wonder how, how it's going to ba balance everything. I like that. It, it, it fits well because you only get to carry three minions with you and just over time you could get get worn down. And here, they, they, it gives you a chance. Uh, what's... Is this what, what would have been the other way? Let's see. Let's go all the way down here. Oh, what do we have here? Am I going completely backwards and just not recognizing it? That's possible. Oh, no. Wow, that's a really long way. <laughs> but, okay. So that is. This is what happens when you go to the to the right. All right. Halt, bo <clears throat> Halt boy! Nice to uh, clear your voice there. Uh, but when when we came back, why didn't you do anything? And then now we're going this way and you decide to do something. A little weird, but whatever. Hi. I've heard rumors of men who disguise themselves as cocoon masters to poach game here. Okay. You may be one of them. Nope. Try again. Him. 
We must find out whether or not you're the real thing. You know, now that I kind of look at your clothing, you really remind me of someone. Your voice is a little annoying too. Huh, I wonder why that is. You really remind me of somebody. In fact, you remind me so much of somebody. Hi, say hi to my strongest minion. Take damage. Mm, what? No. Go away. Don't hit my minion. With... I don't know if you were supposed to... You're attempting to carry a sword. Hey, what was that? Crazy dance of lameness? For some reason, I just got this great sense of joy out of doing that. Out of beating him down. I wonder why. Great walnut. We'll have to see what that is. Ow! That hurts! <laughs> Alright, that's all for now. Bye! Master Chorus's cottage lies ahead. Go on! Get out of here! Next time, I won't go so easy on you! Really? Uh-huh. Bye. I mean, masked boy. That was very satisfying, I, I, I must admit. Uh, what did I go to the menu for? Walnut, right. Don't think it's a valuable, no. Great walnut. Increase max health. A... Nut packing energy for sprouting a new tree. Strengthens the body and protects against aging. Excellent. I was wondering if Levant was going to be stuck at 100 HP. But I kind of want to hold on to it. And the reason for that is it may also give full HP. Sometimes items that in increase your max health also give you a full heal. So I'd like to hold on to that. Hey, what's this? Uh, the spirit gives off an eerie and moist blue glow. Aquazor picked up. Hmm, okay. Can you use it? Sure can. Spear. Uh, provides divine protection against water so its tip never rusts. Hmm. Uh, plus one attack, plus five magic attack. Minus one speed. What? Hmm. Why do you have a magic attack, Levant? No, I'm... Huh. Oh, yeah, you can even see him carry it. That's cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, sometimes in... In games, I don't know why, they don't change the look of the, of the weapon that the character is using. I don't know why that is. I'm glad to see here, at least in this instance, that you could see Levant using the spear. That's cool. Hi, what are you? Oh, yeah, pull it. Oh, Earth! Oh, wow, you can even look. Levant's stance is different. That's cool. And it should be. He's using a different weapon. Poke! That did not do much. And I'm wondering if it's because this is a water spear. <laughs> That would make a lot of sense. Um. Hey, Air Wasp. Could really use your help on this one. Uh, oh yeah, there's the poison. Forgot about it. Uh, I want Maltry, though. See how much it can do. 17. That's not bad. We can cast it again. So let's do that. This is level 3 as well. Hair frayed. Alright. Jeez, you're tough. Hit. Huh. Okay, switch back to Levant. Attack. 
Down to 12. Once more. Yeah, down to 7. So we gotta be careful with this spear, because I think that's why Levon's doing so little damage. Uh, let's try to capture it. It's level 3, and it's a new minion. Behold the glowing cocoon! <laughs> All right. Capture level five. Cool. Oh, those uh, minions are quite a bit more tough. <laughs> Let's see, what do we have this way? Oh, we're back here. Yes, I see you slithering this way. <laughs> now, let's see how much Levant does to one of these. Nine. That's better. I'd like to... to uh, stick a fire monster with this and see how much how much it does um we can resummon flame wasps since they're weak weak too and our minion here has enough magic to cast uh agnes twice which is key no it doesn't need to cast it twice just completely <laughs> took out that skawoot And then one more attack. Even though it just says plus one when we when we level up, I can see the difference between you know the leveled up minion and not. Oh, didn't level up. And this just takes us back back around. All right, can we go? No. <laughs> I was going to see if we could maybe go to the right here, if that would make a difference. Oh, no, it doesn't let you. Oh, that answers that question. Turn around, Levant. Interesting. Okay. Then let's... Hmm. Guess head this way. We'll have to find another one of these guys. Which are quite a bit more tough than anything else we faced. Yeah, I see only four. Alright, good dodge. Um. Hmm. Guess we'll just have Levant hit it. Oh, yeah, crit. Nice. Hit it a couple of times. I'd like, uh,. Air wasp to to kill it, because then then it he probably get a level out of it. Another crate, good. And this is why we buy extra mugwort or herbs. <laughs> All right, let's summon. Because air wasp is only level two, so. Cast. No, oh, didn't have all his mana back. That's not good. I can't cast it again. Or have enough to poison. Eight. Come on, do eight. No, six again. Dodge? Oh, darn it. Fine. That's a shame. Should have weakened it further. That's my fault. Boy, they're tough. Level up. So, level four. 
Uh, plus 13 HP, plus 3 mana, plus 2 attack. I think it's the first time we've gotten plus 2 to anything. Uh, one magic attack, one speed. But no defense and no magic defense. Okay. It's up here. Oh, this may be the cottage. It's a good guess. <laughs> Made it. So, <laughs> the son of the Lion of Peril is even more talented than I had thought. I looked up the Calabas herb in my books, but in the end, I found nothing. Darn. However, there is a folk tale that describes a dust that wakes the sleeping. Hey, that could also work. It is the story of a wondrous powder kept by a half-bird, half-man named Kikinuk, who lives in the Dragonfly Forest. Kikinuk, Dragonfly Forest, okay. Perhaps that powder is brewed from the Calabas leaves. Maybe. This is only a guess, and it's all I could find. But I think it is worth looking into. Agreed. Here is the key to the Dragonfly Gate. You should have it. Thanks, Chorus. Appreciate everything you've done. Dragonfly key received. You better head straight back to the village and consult with Garai. She may know something about the tale of Kikinak. You must do your best before it is too late. All right. The divine spirit defies the great father and throws off his shackles. He is now bound to the chains of freedom. The Birdman. Chris Anderson? <laughs> uh, anyway. That makes sense if you know the NBA. <laughs> so, National Basketball Association. Even Chorus does not know. But I do remember hearing the tale of the Birdman. Yeah, he's very colorful. Lots of tattoos. Oh, wrong, wrong Birdman again. Sorry. There is a similar story of divine spirits in Nagi legend as well. Uh, please. Why not? Backstory. Elrum released his minions, the divine spirits, unto peril. He spake, Thou shalt not become what presides over life. And so they spent days bringing life to the forest and giving names unto themselves. And then one day, a spirit made up its mind to create a beast in its own image. Elrim warned, that creature is the beast of knowledge, and it will someday bring temptation upon you. Thou shalt not dissociate with it. The divine spirit so promised, and gave birth to the beast of its own image. Such was the birth of man, the beast of knowledge, as told by the prophet Guy. As the sands of time flowed on, the beasts bore children, and so continued to multiply. Soon a fateful day came to the forest. One of the divine spirits fell in love with the daughter of man, and so the promise was at last broken. Elrum punished the Divine Spirit for its sin by transforming it into a beast. Descendants of that Divine Spirit dwell still in the forest, and sometimes they reveal themselves to us. The Birdman, Kikinok, as mentioned in the folk tales of Peril, might be referring to this spirit. Okay, I think I got the gist of it. We should seek out Kikinok, the legendary bird man. Enter the dragonfly forest, but be warned, an average cocoon master is no match for the denizens within. Hmm, that sounds like, hint hint, you should gain some levels before entering the dragonfly forest. And be sure to ask the old gravekeeper about the legends. Old gravekeeper, okay. He is the storyteller of Cyrus and should know much about the fables of old. That sounds like a good idea. 
Uh, first. Hi, Mabu. Doing divine magic is very tiring. I'm sorry. Ugh. After performing a purification, I feel so sluggish. It takes a lot out of you, huh? Our enemy we love, and for the tormented we pray. Grant us, the beasts of knowledge, the power to touch the spirit. Thanks, Mabu. I really appreciate everything you do. Okay. The tariff read. Uh, high attack and defense. Kind of average ish speed. Well, it's pretty fast. Uh, very little magic attack and defense. So it, it's it's big on physical, not magical. You're tipping more than the more than the air. I'd like to kind of keep, for right now, anyway, until we experiment more with the merging and stuff like that, kind of keep uh, three separate elements. That way we kind of have a, a, a fight. We can kind of fight against anything. Uh, at least decently. I kind of like the way you look, too. Like a... Lizard with a gi with armor and a gigantic horn. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Let's let's take you along. Wanna oh no, don't wanna merge. What do you look like though? Kinda curious. Oh wow. <laughs> Cause you you're taking on the uh still that 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 uh pattern of skin. And wait, that's pretty cool looking. But you'd be part... Part Earth and part Air. You'd lose 4 HP, but gain 2 mana. Eh, I don't think that really works for it. I guess if you wanted to make it kind of more well-rounded, but... No. So, let's quit. We want equip. And Terrafraid. Welcome to the group. Let's see. View. What abilities you have. Uh, Earth attack. No spells. That, that makes sense. I mean, it has very low magic attack. So, all right. Um, that'll do for now. Well, good luck. Thanks, Mabu. Okay, before ending this episode, let's go talk with the old gravekeeper. Uh, I'm gonna assume cemetery? Or not, I could be completely wrong. Hi. You know, I quite like it here. I wonder if you understand. I have a fine view of the forest. I love the forest. That is why I like it here. When I'm here watching the forest, I need nothing else at all. Oh my. I almost forgot about the frolicking children. Their smiles are important, too. Which tale shall I tell? Um, I uh, hear the story of the birdman. Once upon a time in a faraway village, there lived a woodcutter who always boasted of his strength. It is said that the woodcutter 
wanted to test his own strength by felling the tallest tree in the forest. He hastily ventured deep into the forest in search. Meanwhile, the forest told the great tree of the woodcutter. The great tree sighed deeply, lamenting his foolishness, and he continued to sigh. And before long, the breath of the great tree became a thick and heavy fog which shrouded the forest. The woodcutter soon lost his way. He grew so tired wandering about that he soon took a short rest. Just then, sweet-smelling fluffs began to float down from above. All who would smell their sweet scent would fall fast asleep. The woodcutter couldn't help but to fall in a deep slumber, and there he lay snoring great snores in the middle of the forest. For three days he slept. On the morning of the fourth day, a birdman flew down to where he lay. He spoke to him. I'm the strongest, you always say. One fight with me, if you may. But the woodcutter remained fast asleep. You can try to sleep if you must, but I shall wake you with my dust. As he spoke those words, the birdman sprinkled a glistening white powder upon the woodcutter. With that, the woodcutter sneezed a great sneeze and jumped to his feet. The surprised woodcutter shouted, "Who on earth are you?" I warn you, I am incredibly strong, and I will battle right now. The birdman replied, "You can't defeat me, but if you do, we can be friends, and I'll share my powder with you. It cures all illness and turns old to new. I got it from the forest people called the Yamu." The woodcutter tried to grab the birdman, but the woodcutter had been asleep for three days. He was too hungry to hold on. With one flap of his mighty wings, the birdman blew the woodcutter all the way back to the village. The woodcutter told the villagers all about the strange birdman, but not a soul believed him. From that day on, the woodcutter never again boasted of his strength. Understand? The divine tree of the forest is an incarnation of Elrum. You must never think of harming it. It is always watching over us. There are many other tales with the birdman. It seems they all say that he hates fire. Perhaps he was barbecued in a previous life. Huh. Well, that was very interesting. I did not expect a uh <laughs> A long type cutscene like that with the full story. That was really neat. Ah, yeah, this game just continues to blow me away with how much detail there is. Very cool. Uh, hates fire, huh? I'll have to keep that in mind. Well, with that, and it was gonna be that long, I'm gonna end this episode here. Thanks for the tell. Pato, I believe his name was. So, thanks for the tell. I hope you all enjoyed that as much as I did. That was really cool to get a, a full story like that. It's... Sometimes I, I feel like you don't get that too much these days. A, a nice story like that. So, uh, very cool. We'll have to hear the other tale sometime that he knows. Because there, there were two options there. 
now we know about the Birdman. I'm gonna just take a shot in the dark and say that we're gonna have to fight the Birdman before he'll give us some of that uh, powder that can wake sleeping people. And if that's the case, that hint about how he hates fire, I'm sure, will be very, very nice to know. So glad we did that, because I wouldn't have known without the uh, without going there. And I bet that's completely optional. Cause I don't see you have the key. I don't see why you couldn't just go to the forest gates and leave. You probably can, and then you won't know. You wouldn't know about his weakness. Cause he, it may not show up that he that he's a uh, heir, and so you wouldn't know that he's weak to fire. He'd just be taking, you know, blind guesses. So that's very cool. Um, what I'm gonna do or try to do, what I'm gonna try to do is do some fights off off screen um, I'll just go back to the beetle forest I won't go to any place new and do some additional fights and get our uh, three minions here some uh, a few levels that way maybe they're uh, that way they're ready to fight in the dragonfly forest because we'll heed mother Garai's uh, warning and I may capture a few more with Levant. Maybe just, just to up his capture level. And with those, I'll either merge them or turn them into silk. Uh, if I just turn them into silk, I'll tell you how much silk I got. If I got a new silk, I'll show it off. But if it's just cloud silk, I'll uh, just go to the town and cash it in. Uh, if I do any merging at all, I don't think I will. I may look at some combinations, but if I do that, I'll do it on on screen. I'll do it at the beginning of the next episode. I wouldn't want you all to miss out on that. And I may just show you a few, like if I go through the, the merging, and I'm not going to do any of it, but some of it looks cool. Uh, I'll show that off as well. If I even touch the merging, but I don't touch the merging this go around then all that's yeah it doesn't matter but I said I think I'm gonna try to get a couple of levels for for each minion that way they're just you know a bit stronger and have some more uh, some more confidence going into the dragonfly forest so uh, until the next episode Thank you very much for watching. We've reached the end of the Beetle Forest. Of course, remember the minions that are there, because uh, if you want to use them to merge and try to get some new ones, there's that option there too, because they do come come back. Excuse me. So, again, until the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you had a lot of fun. And. Hope you enjoyed that story, because I thought that was really cool. So, um, I'm Cinderay9, and until the next episode, remember to shoot for the stars, and take care, everyone.